There are 79 mobs in Minecraft 1.20 and I'm going to collect every single one in my hardcore world. So let's get started with the easier mobs before working my way up to the more difficult ones. Starting with you. And I'm finally going to make use of this giant 100 by 100 hole that I dug down to bedrock by building the habitats for each mob inside of this wall. Or this one. Or this one. Or... I've decided on this one. And now I need to dig out the first row of pods for the mobs. And there are the first 14 pods ready for action. And right here, we've got the pig ready to go into the first pod. Here you come, buddy. Huh? Any time today. And I need to give him a name before he despawns, which means every mob is going to need a name tag. But that's not a problem because I thought about this ahead of time and got myself five anvils. And 79 name tags. Coming up with each individual name is going to be a bit of a task. I don't want to leave every mob in some sort of stone hole. So instead, I'm going to decorate every single one with locks in the habitat they come from. So there's some grass and some mud because pigs love mud. Really wants to escape right now. And for the walls, I'm using oak wood because oak trees are usually in the plains biome, which is where these guys are from. And then I'm gonna close him in using some glass paint. And just like that, that's the first mob collected, and we've only got 78 to go. So next up, I'm gonna try and save this sheep from the side of the mountain. Let's try this one again. Bro, what? Come on, man. Surely this time. No, 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 no. So the pig was easy, but the sheep took a lot longer than I expected. To make up some time, I'm going to get through the next animals much faster. Pretty sure I saw a donkey over here when I was collecting the sheep. I sure did. I'm going to tie you up here. And then back towards my house, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of chickens. The next, I want to try and find a cow. Follow me, good sir. I'm just going to move you over. Anyway, I brought the cow over the bridge, and that's another free mobs trap. Whilst I look for some more non-hostile mobs nearby, I want to quickly explain that I'm collecting every mob, but not all 79. For example, the vexes despawn after a while, and tadpoles eventually grow into frogs. So mobs like that won't be on the list. But horses, cats, bees, and rabbits, I will be collecting. The rabbits more than once, because I thought that the zombies killed the first one. But it actually turns out that the cat killed both the rabbits. So I had to go back and get a third one. Yo, look at the way this cat just wants to go for the rabbit. So now I've got Tom, Jerry, Beyond and Thumper. And they first need all of their rooms decorating. I'm going to get the horse into its pod first. Now, apparently to get a mule, I need to breed the horse and the donkey. You can't just find them in the wild. So I give them golden carrots. Guys, you've, you've taken all my food. Give me what I want. Maybe some golden apples will work. Nope. There's one. If I feed you now, there's the mule. It's so small. Now I just need a name. For this name, I had no idea. So I literally went onto Google and typed in Minecraft mule names and picked one at random. Then next, we can get Tom into his pod. Then finally, we've got Beyonce. And I'm pretty sure someone's probably used that name before for a bee. But uh, literally about a week ago, I was at the Beyonce concert. So it is what it is. Let's get you into here. Oh. And I completely forgot why I built this wooden structure. But we've got Thumper the rabbit who needs to go into his pod next. Place down some water. And there we go. So the next mob that I'm going to get, I completely forgot was even in the game. Now I'm pretty sure they spawn in a jungle biome. Can't seem to find the jungle, but I did find a tiger biome. And if I can find foxes along the way, then I may as well try to bring one home. <laughs> now we've only got like 3,000 blocks to travel, but uh, we've got each other. Now I wonder, can you get foxes into boats? You can. Oh my, this is going to save me so much time. <laughs> Let's go. I feel like I'm playing Mario Kart by trying to avoid all these lily pads. I'm also going to need some frogs. Especially this one. Now that they're back home, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a jungle biome right next to where I live. So I could get lucky and find an ocelot here. There we go. Now the other question is, can we find a panda in here? It's looking like the answer is going to be no. Wait! Huh? I thought that cow was a brown panda. Now that would have been insane luck. I've been searching all over this massive jungle and all I've been able to find is a parrot, which I'm going to need later. 
Seriously? Hey, let's go. I'm pretty sure he will just follow me now. This guy is so slow and he just doesn't stay with me. Like if I walk, I think he's okay. Nope, not even then. You're a bit slow, bro. Why are you bullying me? You're the same color as Sonic the Hedgehog. You should be fast. All right, this is starting to become really ridiculous right now. You're telling me that there's no panda in this huge jungle. Now, will the third time be the charm? There's a lot of bamboo. There has to be one here, please. Mojang, you're trolling me. Let's go. You're chilling, my guy. This guy's brain is absolutely fried. But I'm going to take you regardless. Wait, you can't use a lead on him? Oh, that's so annoying. But I'm pretty sure you can put him in a boat. Bro, this is the most backwards logic. You can't tame them with a lead, but they'll sit in a boat. Huh? What? <laughs> Let's go, bro. Now, before taking the panda back home, I'm going to take some of this podzol and bamboo, as well as things like hay and also melons. Now, I'm just going to slide this panda off the edge box it in and then because i was so happy with this enclosure i decided to make two similar ones for the parrot and the ocelot and now we can take you into your new enclosure now i just need the parrot maybe you're gonna have to stay here and i'll get the room to cords because you're a bit slow bro wait this is the complete wrong direction oh hey there he is well seeing as you can fly and i can fly surely this will work Nope, definitely didn't work. Wait, this thing just teleported. Yo, that's so sick. Now I don't have to walk for 1,500 blocks just to get back home. I can just fly there and he should teleport to me like a wolf. Now that I've got Sonic, I can turn my attention to a wolf. That is the wolf collected, and that means we've got one more pod on this row, and it's not for you, man. Instead, this pod is going to have the goat inside of it. But to find a Minecraft goat, I need to find a mountain, like this one right here, and hopefully get the goat down there without it dying. Oh, and I actually just got an advancement. Whatever floats your goat. <laughs> and just like that, we've got... So that's 17 complete. Just imagine how sick this is going to look when I have every single mob in the game. But at this rate, we're never going to get to that point. So I'm going to really quickly get the rest of the unhostile mobs, which includes all of the water mobs, helping to tick off eight from the total. That is the unhostile water mobs added to the collection. And I even went ahead and spent an unnecessary amount of time decorating their stone pods to look a little more like their habitats. However, there are four missing, the wandering trader and the wandering llama, which are always welcome in my vicinity. And the newest mobs in minecraft 1.20 the sniffer and the camel all right i've just upgraded to 1.20.1 .1, so by the time i find the new mobs hopefully a wandering trader and his llamas will visit me so i can capture <clears throat> give them a place to stay now as for the camel and the sniffer i need to fly really far away in the nether and build a new portal to visit some new chunks well, we've ended up in a desert, which is a good sign, because if there's a village, the camel should be pretty easy to locate. Hold up. Wait. Yo, these things are huge in game. I thought they'd be a bit smaller. I don't know why, but yeah, you have a sit down, buddy. Because you're so slow, I might as well just leave you here. Go find an egg and take you both back at the same time. I think he agrees. Now, luckily, the village is right next to a warm ocean. So now I just need to find some suspicious sand. I'll be honest, I have no idea what it looks like, but it should look pretty sus compared to normal sand. A bit like this. Then I guess you just... Oh, wait, no, we need a brush. Only I could be stupid enough to forget a brush. I think you just do this. I went all that way for a wooden hoe. Seriously? This looks like I might have better luck. Let's go. I got the sniffer egg. I think I only need the one. This man's been watching me the whole time. You want to help out, did you, bud? But it's just dawning on me how long this journey is about to be. So as me and the camel embark on this 3,000 block adventure, you should consider subscribing because I'm aiming to get 200,000 subscribers and only a small percentage of you guys that watch my videos are actually subscribed. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. Finally, we've made it back. Good job, man. Now let's squeeze you through here. Wait, what are you doing, bro? All right, he's safe. But the exit isn't safe, so I need to make a dirt bridge to get him across. I'm not going to lie, buddy. You're really tempting fate with your tail in that lava. This is so uncomfortable. And we've made it. <laughs> Wait, my guy can walk on water. He doesn't even sink. And he just walks on the water. Surely they're not supposed to be like this on water. Surely not. Let's give you a name because he's got a hump. <laughs> this could go very wrong. Bruh. Come on, man. Here he goes. 
Okay, he's down there and he's not dead. So I guess that's a W. Get you in here. <laughs> not up there. There we go. Now you can chill, buddy, because you have made it to your enclosure. Now for the sniffer, I'm pretty sure we just place the egg down and eventually it'll hatch. <laughs> Should probably close him in with these before he hatches, just in case he uh, takes a trip down to the bottom. And now we wait. And here it is, 20 minutes later. We have a sniffer with its head in the wall. There he is. Oh man, he looks so cool. <laughs> now let's give you a name. <laughs> I think you like that name. These things look so cool. And with the sniffer completing the collection so far, things are going to start getting a little dangerous around here as we move on to phase two. Now, first, we just need somebody to turn the lights off. Finally. And now it's nighttime. I can start collecting mobs like this. And it might be a bit easier because they will follow me and just basically lock on because I'm a moving target. But there's no point in trapping them until I've actually got somewhere for them to be trapped. So let's start by mining out five more pods. Probably should have done this whilst I was waiting for it to turn to nighttime. That's another five pods mined out and it's daytime. So I guess whilst I wait for it to turn to nighttime again, I can decorate the pods so they're ready for use. And as I'd finished decorating, it had turned to nighttime and luckily for me, a creeper spawned. Never thought I'd say that. And after trapping it pretty easily, it turns out a skeleton in full gold armor spawned right next to it as well. So after taking a lot of arrow shots, I managed to bait the skeleton into its pod and now we've got a skeleton and a creeper both trapped. An enderman has just turned up. This lit... Don't worry. I wonder how I'm supposed to trap an Enderman. Won't it just teleport out as soon as I get it inside? But we'll find that out after I get a spider and a zombie or seven. I really want to see if I can get an Enderman in a boat. You <laughs> no, don't you ruin this. You can genuinely get an Enderman in a boat. What? This must be like common Minecraft knowledge, but I never knew you could get an Enderman in a boat and it looks so weird. Wait, but I accidentally looked at him. He's angry at me now. Well, that's no good because you're just going to teleport. At least I know that we can use a boat. After managing to get the Enderman in place, I started building this very poor excuse of a witch hut. And now I just need to get a witch. Finally, it's in. And we've got ourselves a Nintendo witch. Next, I'm going to speed through some mobs that I can definitely find nearby, like a drowned, another villager that I'm going to zombify, an Endermite, Husk, Stray, Pillager, and a Cave Spider. I'm going to need a Phantom. And there's one stuck right here. If he flies into here, that would be ideal. There's a phantom stuck in here. I predicted that to be a lot harder than that was. Now, there's a giant stone box over here. And the reason I've done this is to make a makeshift slime spawner. But we'll leave it for now because we need this mob right here. The bat. I can capture one of the ones down here, but I don't know how I'm going to get them all the way back up to there. Hey, little buddy. Oh. Let's go and check in the slime farm. <laughs> Let's go One actually spawn. I didn't think this would work. You can stay right there. Now the slime is trapped. I'm going to go back down and try and complete the impossible task of trapping a bat. I have faith. I think I've just trapped the bat. There he is. Let's give him his name tag. I have to build a room from the outside. There he is. He's stuck there. That is so cool. And the bat can stay down there for now because I've got other mobs to focus on. For this empty section over here, I want to try and get some nether mobs in. And for the habitats, I'm going to want some netherrack. Now I just need one of these guys to follow me in. And the only way I know how is to... <laughs> Part of me is now terrified to go back through here, but here goes nothing. Oh yeah, this, this isn't good. <laughs> Okay, that's not gone terribly. Next up, I want to get that hoglin over there. Hopefully, he just follows me straight through here. Turns out the hoglin was terrified of the portal. So I need another way of getting this guy through to the overworld. And that other way is using rails and a minecart. Wait, it's dying. My guy needs a bigger portal. And here it is in its zombified version. Just going to trap it in here and give him a name tag. Done. Next, I'm going to build a longer railway over to a nether fortress. Now, first up, I need a wither skeleton. So let's get him up here. Oh, no, that was a bad decision. Uh, hi, guys. I don't think we need a minecart for the wither skeleton. I think he's just going to run straight in, but I don't want all these pigmen following him. Give you one of those. That's the with the skeleton trapped. Now I've got to try and get one of these blazes. This is not going to be fun. I need these blazes in a minecart. I don't know if they're going to go into it. Yes, we got him. But he's going the wrong way. Come back, bro. That way. <laughs> now I've just got to try and stay alive. 
Oh, wrong way. And now because I didn't prepare his pod before capturing him, I'm trying not to die. Oh. Honestly, I didn't even realize I was that close to dying. So after a near-death experience, I finished off the pods for the blaze and the wither skeleton, which leaves me with just three more nether mobs to capture. And I'm pretty sure that's kind of rare, no? If I can capture that, that would be pretty insane. I had this name tag picked out for a magma cube. It's called the nether slime. I'm going to temporarily name this so it doesn't despawn. Okay, I don't know how to transport this. <laughs> Personal space, bro. Now, apparently these are super rare and it's like a 0.26% chance of this spawning. It's not moving, so... Yes, I was worried that wasn't going to work, but it looks like it might. Come on, chicken. You know, it makes sense. Does it not go through? This is just too rare to not go through to the overworld. So if it's not going to go anywhere, it's going to be staying here. Why is your sword enchanted? It's going to kill me. <laughs> there we go. It was unplanned. That's the baby zombified pigman chicken jockey or whatever it's called. Now I need a magma cube, strider and a ghast. Now strider should spawn in lava like right there. Now I've got to figure out how to get a rail all the way out to that guy. I guess I could try and use a lead. Yes, it works. I've never seen a purple strider before. Come with me. Let's go. Now, after fighting half the server full of mobs, I can grab one of these little guys to tick off both the magma cube and the strider. Next to those, I need to mine out a huge pod compared to what I have been mining out because we've got the difficult task of capturing a ghast. Gonna fill it with netherrack because, I mean, it is the nether. And then on the nether roof, build a giant portal. Now, I've got absolutely no idea how to spawn a ghast, so I'm just gonna place a load of blocks and hopefully one will spawn. Spawn? I think they just spawn on netherrack and then literally just trying to copy the same sort of design that sand diction used because well other than that I've got no idea how to do this. If I place some torches down it might help it to spawn and I'm just gonna fly away and hopefully when I turn around there will be a ghast there. I think this area probably needs to be a bit bigger. Not exactly what I'm looking for. This time, there's nothing at all. Okay, this time one actually has spawned, which is good. Apart from the fact it's probably going to blow everything up. I just need to somehow extend this rail. It's literally stuck under here. This is kind of useful. Now I'm just praying it goes straight onto this minecart. Nope. Oh. Oh. All I need to do is just connect these rails. There we go. It's on. Right. Uh, put some powered rails down. Please don't blow me up. Oh. oh, no. I can't tell what's taking longer. This guy to spawn or to actually get it through the nether portal. Going to give it another go now. And I'm really praying it works this time. Finally, it's gone through now. Hopefully, I'll survive on the other side. Oh, he's big chilling in here. First, I should break the portal. And then give the name tag close it in let's go the ghast has finally been captured the next i've come to a stronghold to find some of these guys and i think the quickest way is going to be back through the nether and now i'm going to end up guiding the silverfish all the way back around 600 or 700 odd blocks fun but all the effort of that long adventure seems very pointless now because the silverfish just hides inside blocks so you can't even see it now for the next set of mobs i've come back to the raid farm because i need to collect a bunch of totems because i don't trust myself not to die because i need a ravager evoker and whatever other raid mobs i don't have first i need to get the bad omen from this outpost okay the raid is starting i won't be able to capture any vexes though because they do despawn after a while and they're extremely annoying anyways okay yep will the ravager fit in a boat no it won't okay we've got the vindicator in a boat and the ravager's just chilling there hey, you deal damage huh the ravager is trapped it took me so long to capture this guy that the raid stopped so now i can focus on transporting both of these guys back let's try and get the vindicator back first and transporting him back is going to be pretty interesting if he's doing this amount of damage with his iron axe we can be friends no probably not so instead of having to stop every five seconds to regenerate my health i decided to just break the boat and have it follow me the entire way home now i'm gonna trap you in a boat and you should stay here i was just getting these pods ready looked up there's a bat chilling in there. I'll name it and eventually it might just fly straight through here. There we go. It is trapped in its own separate pod, which means that this guy is no longer of use. After that excitement, I came back for the bad omen effect and just as I thought, the Ravager has despawned. But that's all right because we can get a new one in this new raid. First of all, I've just got to wipe all these guys out. Here comes another ravager just need to get rid of the guy riding it and now the ravager is alone i am going to try and trap it 
now to just give it a name tag before it despawns. Now it's time for the hard part. I've got to try and get this evoker into a boat. There it is. But I'm about to be swarmed by vexes. These are the most annoying mobs I've ever encountered. Now let's try and box him in. Should stop him from spawning vexes and keep me alive for a little bit longer. There we go. You're staying inside there. It says on screen there are two raiders remaining, which means we won't win the raid. But the last two are this Ravager and the Evoker. And I'd rather capture these than win a pointless raid. So I'm going to start with the Ravager by doing the same thing as I did with the Vindicator. Having it chase me until we're all the way back. Now I've just got to try and trap this guy in a sort of stone box without it killing me. But this guy does a lot of damage, so it's going to be a lot easier said than done. All right, he's in. I've just got to try and close him in. Okay, there we go. Now I've just got to come up with a master plan of getting the Ravager down towards his pod without it dying let's get the vindicator fully trapped in first and i think that a water pool is probably gonna be the best plan of action i don't really have any other ideas now come this way big fella he's afraid of heights let's try again by baiting him over this side and if i place a bucket of water here Yes, it's going to push him straight down. I mean, at least he's still alive. Now, if we just box it in with dirt, eventually I will change the dirt back into glass. But I can happily say that that is the Ravager trapped. Unfortunately, the hard work isn't over because we've still got to get the Evoker back by using a very long, painful process of placing hundreds and hundreds of rails. That I ended up abandoning anyway because I knew how painful the vexes were to deal with and it was really far away. So I got myself another bad omen, flew home and started a raid at the mighty village ahead, which I managed the fight off pretty easily until it came to the evoker and that was almost instant death just to try and get the evoker into a boat oh my almost died again my new strategy is going to be to pick off the mobs one by one because taking them all on at once is pretty stupid and now that the coast is somewhat clear we can try and trap the evoker in using dirt Okay, not a great idea. Now the area is clear of vexes. Let's get him in a minecart so he doesn't despawn. And after a lot of stress, that's him trapped temporarily. If I place down just a few more rails. Hours later, all that's left to do is put a name tag on this thing and close off the pod. Which, of course, will be much easier said than done. For as long as I can remain unseen and have a block between us, I can replace this dirt with glass. And now that that's done, that's the Ravager and the Evoker both trapped. And man, that took way longer than it should have. The number of mobs left to capture is now super low. But some are really time consuming. For example, these guys right here. And the reason that these guys take so long is because you have to get them all the way back to the portal. And I'm going to need more than just 30 blocks. Boring. That's done. Now I just need to place rails on every single... I think you guys know what I mean now by this one being very time consuming. Okay, it's in. Why is it not going anywhere? I think it just needs another minecart to be pushed into it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we have lift off. Just another thousand blocks to go, man. I've removed the dirt towers, but the question is, where is it going to go? The shulker's teleport range is 17 by 17 by 17. So I need to fill in any gaps, which is a good job that I brought a ton of dirt with me. Now for the surface, I'm going to craft some stone buttons and three stacks was not enough at all. So I came back with a ton more to completely cover the surface. This should definitely be enough. Right, if I break this block, it should TP onto this block. Uh... Or not. After a lot of stress, I've managed to manipulate the shulker's position to a better block. Now I just need to get over there and push a minecart up to it. Nice. So are you going to go in? It might have to be a case of getting it in the boat again. Let's try and break the boat now. Bruh, go in. Oh... Let's give this another go. And I guess I can just try and shoot the boat without shooting the shulker. Let's go! Now I've just got to try and find it. And honestly, <laughs> shout out to Easy for helping me with that. Now I've found you. I've got to get you back in a minecart. And I'm going to give you a name. It shouldn't despawn. And we can build this rail all the way back to where it's supposed to be. And that was most definitely the most time consuming mob so far. Now there are two mobs that could compete for that title. And that's the Guardian and the Elder Guardian. Pretty sure there's a couple of ocean monuments this way. So I just need to connect the portals in the nether and then transfer them across. All right, there's the Elder Guardian. And it actually looks a lot bigger than the last time I fought against it. I guess we can trap him in there so he can't hit us. Try not to drown in the process. Now if I just turn these blocks into a portal... Just break the blocks on the other side now. 
Bro, why are you not going through? This is probably why, because it can't fit out the other side. So let me make this one bigger. Now, I think the other portal is about 50 to 100 blocks that way. So I need to make a secure pathway for a rail system. I've just come through the portal and the Elder Guardian isn't here anymore. So with a bit of luck, it might come through. Oh yeah, he's here, all right. Please get in the minecart. There he goes. Now let's see if it's on the other side. Just need to give it a name so it doesn't despawn and break the portal. Now let's repeat the process for the guardian. And there we go. That's both the elder guardian and the guardian trapped. And it took nowhere near as long as the shulker. To decorate their environments, I'm gonna grab some more blocks from the ocean monument. And I regret not doing it beforehand. I've got two more slots next to the ghast for never mobs, but the only ones are the hoglin and the piglin brute. Well, they get zombified, so I'm gonna have to leave them here in the nether. There's currently a thunderstorm, so I need to wait for the lightning to strike in order to find my next mob. And that is the skeleton horse. Nope, that's just the sheep. Oh, from out of nowhere, like Randy Orton. Oh, probably a little bit too close for comfort right now. To a zombie of all things. I'm glad we're not too far away from home. I've put a saddle on him so I can somewhat control it a bit better. And here it is, man. Welcome to your brand new home. I can't believe we've still not got the Wandering Llama or the Wandering Trader. I've got their name tags ready. <laughs> you see what I did there? And I've looked everywhere online, but apparently the only thing I can do is to wait. But I also heard if you hit that subscribe button and help me get to 200,000 subscribers, he might spawn just that bit faster. Wait, hang on a minute. Yo, finally! I don't know if I've ever been happier to see these guys, but... So let's go finally. Now all that's left to do is get rid of this netherrack platform. And that is every mob captured in Minecraft Hardcore. If you made it this far, please hit subscribe, drop a like on the video, and watch this one next.